Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So this is a Madame Glam set. I am going to be using Keep Moving and Barbie Girl. So this is a B set. I am very far behind with my uh, with my uploading and everything, but I'm going to try and get these out quite quickly. So um, yeah. <laughs> um, so these are tips I'm going to use today. I'm going to do obviously any first coats I will do with you guys and any second coats I will do off camera like always. I do have a discount code for Madame Glam. If I remember, I will put it on the screen now. If I do forget, it is always in the description box as well. So, oh, oh, look at this pink. It is absolutely gorgeous. I love that purple as well. Oh, I love purple. As you all know, I love a purple. Purple is just like my favourite colour ever. I love it. So we're going to be doing a B set as I said, so we're going to do a little bit of stamping, a bit of uh, chrome powder over the top as well, and a bit of foil, and a little bit of gem placement. So, yep, yeah, I think I do foil in this one. No, I don't, no. So it is just stamping in this one, yeah. So um, on this one I'm going to do half and half, so I'm going to do half purple and half pink. Absolutely beautiful. I do cure it in between, I think. Yes, I did. I did cure it in between because I didn't want them blending. I didn't, didn't want them to blend together. I want to keep them separate. So, oh, just look at it. Oh, it's so pretty. So I can, um, you can clean it up as well. So this is what they look like. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So what we're going to do now, I'm going to use a makeup sponge. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to use the purple, not the pink. I can't remember why I got the pink out. Anyway, I'm going to use the purple, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to sponge some of it onto the nail, kind of like halfway up. This will make sense as we go through. So um, I'm just going to continue just patting it on, because I didn't want it to be opaque. I wanted it to be um, sort of like there, but not opaque, if that makes any sense. I don't think I'm making any sense. So I will just put this, I think I put it on two nails and then um, off camera I will go round the edge with the purple just to make the the, uh, the edge bit a bit more neater. So here you go. So I'm going to put on a second layer because it seemed a little bit too patchy for what I wanted, for what I was going for. And then I will just secure them. I don't think I show you me doing going around the edge of it I don't think I did no I think and then I'm going to do the like French bit at the top of this I don't know where the footage went but there you go <laughs> that's what it looks like so I'm just going to go around the edge there you go I don't know what happened to the footage I don't know so this is what we've got right so what is up next I can't remember oh yes I'm going to top coat all of the nails because I'm going to be using um pigments so um, obviously I don't want it to go all over the nail so I do top coat them um, but I do get some of the chrome powder onto the nails but I will show you that so I'm going to do leaner twirls and swirls I can't remember and uh, the opaque sticky stamping polish from She Modern so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up these swirls this is one of my favourite plates as well the leaner twirls and swirls are my most favourite plates ever I just love them. They are just beautiful. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I think I fully stamped this whole nail. So I'm just going to add a little bit just at the bottom. This this was pretty hard to line up because I wanted to keep it flowing. So it was a little bit difficult to line up, but I managed to do it quite well. And I'm going to use one of the chrome pens from Born Pretty. So I do have I do have a review of them somewhere on my channel. So I'm going to use number 16 because I want it to add some gold in gold into the set, but not really bright gold, if that makes any sense. Sort of like a duller gold. Now you have to be very careful when you do this. I am literally just I'm not really pressing down barely any pressure at all, and I'm just gently dabbing it on over the stamping because if I was to rub it in now it would just it would just smear all the the stamped image so I'm just going to continue to place it on it's just the loose bit um so I'm just going to place it on 
as you can see you can see I'm rolling it around and that if I run out of pigment on it I just pop it back into the lid um, and then just get some more out of the lid because the pigment is in the lid not in not on the sponge um, so here we go I'm just going to continue doing this and I think this went really well with what with what I wanted um, I didn't want it to be uh, any brighter than this I want it to be a muted gold um, so it worked really well so I'm now going to go in with my finger and very gently rub it now as you can see some of the chrome powder does go onto the nail so I will show you how I'm going to rectify that now you have to be very 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 gentle doing this I got some rubbing alcohol and I put it onto a lint free wipe and wiped it over the stamping image you don't want to press too hard just want to do it very lightly and only swipe once otherwise you're going to swipe the stamping image off and you don't want to do that so I'm going to um, obviously add some swirls at the top to tie in with that full swirl nail I'm going to go in with the pigment pen again so I will I think I slow it down to show you so get the lint free wipe and put some rubbing alcohol on, uh, rubbing alcohol on it don't make it completely sopping wet but you don't want it you want it damp and very quickly and lightly rub over the stamping just one swipe don't push down just glide it over and it will remove the pigment powder but not the stamping um, so yeah you have to do you have to do it very very gently um yeah it may it may not work every time it might do I, I don't know i just thought how am i going to get this off and that's all i could think of doing um so here you go i will show you in a minute so i've just rubbed it in rubbing it in rubbing it in and then i will bring in my lint free wipe and literally i'm just rubbing it over very 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 gently and as you can see there's no more left on the nail but don't continuously wipe it over once you've got it all off just leave it because otherwise you are going to rub that image off and you're just going to wipe away everything you've just done so that's literally what i do so here you go show you again there you go oh, it's pretty 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 so I'm going to use Born Pretty Flower Yarn S002 and I'm going to stamp some of these to tie it in, you know, sort of like bees and flowers and that lot. And it's got a little bit of like, like you can kind of like swirly like design on there as well. And then I'm going to use a neon pigment. I picked these up off of Amazon. Um, so that's the brand there. You can see it because um, I wanted to obviously add the neon pink onto the purple down the bottom. It's very neon. Um, so I just take um, just one of my brushes and I just gently dab it on to the stamping image just gently tap it on make sure you've covered you know the whole image make sure it's all covered and then I will buff it slightly as I'm putting it on wipe my brush off and then I will brush it off with another brush and there you go it's very subtle but I, I did like how it turned out because if it was any darker I don't think it would have gone I think it would have been too too harsh because I wanted to keep it quite sort of subtle but still noticeable you can notice it more in person rather than on camera um, but yeah I think it turned out really really nice so just continue to add it do it the same way so this goes to show if you have got the She Modern Sticky Stamping Polishes you don't have to use um, She Modern's glitters and pigments. You can use um, any other brand with them, the same as the Falls as well. But if you want to use the same brand, you can because they have them all on the website as well. I do have a discount code for She Modern as well. So here I'm just going to do just the top, just the top part. And because I've got the um, No White Top Coat on there, um, it's stuck straight in. So I just thought I would do like a kind of like band type thing if that makes any sense because we're going to apply a glitter soon from Charlie's so there you go just gonna just add that on just to tie it in with the rest of the sort of stamping and everything 
because you know what I'm like. I like to make sure my my sets kind of flow most of the time. I have I am known to sort of like do a set which is completely wacky and doesn't go. So this is a glitter mix. Oh, this is a forbidden plum and this is a hexagon mix. It's absolutely stunning. So as you can see, the gold and the purple it all goes together. Um, so I am applying a base coat I think I think I apply a base coat so I'm applying it to the whole nail because I wasn't entirely sure what I was going to do but I just concentrated just over that gold strip bit at the top just because I wanted the glitter to, to the purple the purple hexagons to stand out as well so that's why um, I used the I used the gold to sort of separate the two otherwise you wouldn't have been able to see them um, very well over the um, over the purple colour but it looks so pretty I really really like it so I'm just going to continue placing it just placing it where I want to place it until I'm happy and then I will cure that very pretty so on here I'm just going to add just a little bit because these are hexagons I thought I would try and you know sort of mimic a sort of honeycomb pieces <laughs> I don't know I don't know I just, yeah, it was a kind of like, I got out what I wanted and then I didn't know what I was going to do. So I just kind of, yeah, just went with the flow. So I'm just going to take a mix of the different sizes and then just pop them on the nail. There you go. I'm going to use a uh, black stamping polish in a minute as well. That's why I've used the black in the, um, in the glit mix. I do like this glit mix. It's very, very nice. It's really pretty really pretty that purple is really nice really nice i didn't want to add loads and loads of glitter just a small amount of glitter and if 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 you do this set yourself and you think you've added too much you can easily just take it off so it doesn't matter and then obviously once i'm happy i will cure that as well there you go right so i'm just going to apply just a little bit more base coat um, just to encapsulate the glitter there you go I'm going to use a money on a jeep plate and the opaque black sticky stamp polish from she modern and I'm just going to place some bees on so they're not going to be in your face they're going to be quite sort of muted but you can you can see them more in person than than obviously what you can see on camera I just thought you know these bees were big enough um, I didn't want them whacking great big ones. <laughs> I just wanted smallish ones. So I'm just gonna place them on. It's a little bit of a busy set. <laughs> so this is what they look like. And I'm just gonna apply a no wipe top coat and then I will cure them all. I'm gonna do a little bit of gem placement. As I said, I've got a charm from Sheen, I think it was. Um so I'm just going to apply the top coat. Let me just speed it up. There you go. And these are gems I'm going to use. Just some AB ones. And I'm just going to put them onto this now. So I just add a few and the B charm. Um, I have got caviar beads there. I noticed they are from Charlie's as well. So I'm just going to do just simple gem placement on this one just the tie all together so this is this set nearly done you have to let me know your thoughts down below do you like it i just thought i'd do something a little bit different rather than just you know just black and gold or black or yellow I just wanted to do something a little bit different i do have one more b set to share so hopefully i can get that out soon <laughs> um but yeah and let me know any thoughts you have down below i do hope you like how this turned out and uh yeah don't forget to check out my description box for all the products I've used today and any discount codes and direct links and all that kind of stuff. And uh, yeah, I will have a short clip as always just so you can see and then the uh, then the main pictures at the end. So I do hope you enjoyed my video today and I hope you like the end result. And uh, yeah, just let me know any thoughts you have. If, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe and please give this video a big thumbs up and uh, yeah. Hopefully I will see you in the next one. Until then, take care. Bye.